good everybody it's your host Jackson Indongo and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to create the buggiest of the buggiest pants. This tutorial is easy to follow, beginner friendly and I have found that the methods that I'm gonna show you in this video are the easiest to follow and yield some of the best results in my opinion. So follow along if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Your support and your engagement will help me grow. I appreciate you. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial and let's get to create the most baggiest of the baggiest pants. Let's get it. All right, so we're going to get two jeans. The one that we're going to be adding material to and the one we are going to be taking material from. So figure out which pant it is and once you do, we are going to start by seam ripping through the jean. I'm going for an outward seam. You can go for an inward seam. So the first thing we're going to do is have a jean that you're going to add to and a jean that you're going to take from. Once you have those two things, we're going to go with a jean that we're going to add to and seam rip it. You have two options. You can do an outward seam or an inward seam. I think outward seams just seem cooler. So I'm gonna do that from both sides. Seam rip it open. And once you do, you are then going to take the jean that you are borrowing from and pretty much do the same thing. But right now I'm just trying to figure out how much width I'm going to go for, so I'm thinking I'm going to do anywhere between 10 to 13 inches of flare, like the buggy sides of it. I want 13 inches long at the bottom. And the good thing about this technique that I'm about to show you is that the only way to get the perfect buggy jean is, like I can tell you measurements right now, be like, yeah, measure five inches, measure seven, but you won't know until you experiment and the best experimentation is just have the jean that you're going to add from cut as much as you can and pin stuff you have to experiment the best baggy jeans come from experimentation i have watched so many youtube videos teaching you how to make baggy jeans and they tell you how much measurements you need like i want mine to be baggy baggy okay and i'm not going to get baggy baggy from seven inches or six inches I want mine super wide. So I'm doing anywhere between 13, 10 to 13 inches of 15. That's the goal right now. And that's why I'm pinning and putting things together. It's the only way to get the best baggy jeans. Pin stuff down. See how things are going to look like. Experiment. It's super key for you to experiment. So here I am. Just pinning everything down to see how everything is going to look. And then once I figure out how things are going to look, we're going to take our favorite pair of scissors and cut the pants. This way we can get the first prototype of what it's actually going to look like. And this is the best way to get accurate results. I've pinned everything down. I know what makes sense. For my bugginess, I have the lines of where I'm actually going to fold. Once you cut the jeans, you're going to pin them once more. And once you pin everything in, you are then now going to try the pants on to see where the necessary adjustments need to be done. So for me, it looks something like so. So this is the only way you're going to get clean flares or bagginess in a jean is by putting them on while they're still pinned. Do not sew. Things look good, but once you put them on, you start to see the mistakes. So don't sew. Just pin them out, give it a try, and see the necessary adjustments you need to make to make sure you get a clean look. Once you've done that, you're able then to come in and make minor adjustments. So now we're just creating a guideline of where our fold is going to be because we're going to need that piece that we've just created to create a duplica. So this is just a good reference guide to know where our folds will be. I'm happy with how things turned out when I tried the pants on. And now we're just replicating the piece that we're just going to use. And once that's done, you're going to pin everything back together. So we're going to pin one side. And then we're going to go to our sewing machine 
and we're gonna sew. Sew one side at a time. For me, I'm sewing right at the edge. That's where I'm starting. So I'm gonna sew that one side first, see how things are looking. And then we're gonna go and do the same thing on the other side, pin and then sew. And once you are done doing that, replicate it on the other side as well. And your finished product should look something like so. These baggy jeans turned out amazing. They had so many holes. There was so much alterations I had to do, as you can see. But I fixed everything that I could, even at the back. Normally where the jeans are the weakest, I created an alteration there. Replaced the piece. If you want to see a tutorial of how I did this, just leave jeans in the comment section and I'll create a tutorial for you. I've created one in terms of jean shorts, but I can create one for jean pants. I went and your boy had to do a video shoot with them, and this is how they look, yo. Come on now. Those look super clean. I love them, love them, love them. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. That is how I create baggy pants. This method has worked for me and I hope it works for you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section or if there's any other tutorials that you want for me to do. I have no problem facilitating and helping you to the best of my abilities. I shall see you guys in other tutorials. Thanks for watching. Peace.